the greatest glory in living life not in never falling but rising every time we fall hello everyone welcome back to anime gaus so today we'll be counting down our two picks for 10 action romance anime hope you enjoy the video if you do then give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and enable the notification that you never miss a video from us so without further ado let's start the list Let's start the list with Kanazuma no Stigma. Kanazuma Kanagi was the eldest son of the Kanagi family and presumed heir. However, due to his inability to use Enjutsu, the power to control flames, he was considered to be useless within his family. Despite his inability to use wield fire, his father insisted on him to competing for the right to wield Enraiha, a powerful higher loom sword. Traditionally wielded by a family heir, the 18 years old Kazuma was soundly defeated by 12 years old Ayano Kanagi, his second cousin, and his father banished him from the family. Well, I'm done. You got three days to get me the money. Four years later, he returns as a master of Fujitsu. the power to control wind and with a new name kazuma yagami soon after his return several kanagi family members are killed by someone who is in fujitsu and kazuma is presumed to have committed the murders in revenge for his banishment though innocent of the murders he is confronted by various members of his former family who wish to fight him however the only person that kazuma want to fight is his father back and call anymore tell him i said that so is the fuga clan that's been training me god realized guardian of rebirth cardia lives day to day isolated from the world in a restricted abandoned mansion in order to fulfill her promise to her father her body carries a deadly poison that rots or melts anything that her skin touches causing the locals to call her monster. Sure. No, you fool! Please don't. <laughs> huh? Father tells her to stay away from people and falling in love. But he suddenly disappears. One day, her quiet solitude is interrupted when the royal guard breaks in to capture her. That's when She meets the chivalrous thief Arsene Lupin, who helps her break free from the royal guards. Cardia then finds herself on a journey with Lupin to locate her father. My name is Arsene Lupin, and sir, you've got me all wrong. I'm no dog. No, I'm a dashing gentleman thief. Conception. On his high school graduation day. Itsuki's cousin Mairu tells him that she is pregnant. Just then, a gate of light emerges and transports the two into the world of Ganvania. In this land, impurities have been causing a disturbance to the stars, ultimately plunging Ganvania into chaos and disorder. And it's Suki, now revealed to be the visitor, who is fated to meet with star maidens, is seen as Ganvania's last hope, and was thus given the task to produce star children and combat the impurities. And unless the task is complete, it's Suki may never be able to return home. Oh, what's this? Some kind of toy with an AI or a drone installed or something? Or could it maybe be a fairy? I'm Lana. A wonderful name, isn't it? <laughs>
world end hundreds of years ago humanity was beset by other worldly creatures known as beasts and utterly wiped out the last human william wakes up in a world where everyone he has ever known or cared about has been dead for centuries with nothing to live for he has done nothing but drift from place to place but in his lonely wanderings he discovers the identity of the greatest weapon ever made for the unending war against the beast fairies destined to fight with everything they have then die Magic Kaito By day Kaito Kurabo is regular high school student with an aptitude for magic but by night he transforms into the notorious thief and master of disguise Kaito the kid announcing his next target to the police by way of a note Kaito kid uses every trick in the book to steal the loot of his dreams from under the nose of his rival inspector nakamori from a jeweling cluster crown to a rare pink diamond there is no challenge too tough for the young thief no matter how impossible the situation may seem or how many officers attempt to stand his way Summer Wars Kenji Koizo is a high school student with a crush on a kendo club beauty Natsuki Shinohara and a knack for mathematics his aptitude with numbers earns him a part-time working maintenance on the global virtual reality world OZ One day, right before summer vacation, Natsuki asks Kenji to do her a favor, accompany her to her great-grandmother's 90th birthday, celebration deep in the Japanese countryside. As Kenji tries to find his footing among the big clans, he receives a mysterious email with a long code, and the message, Sword me. Little does Kenji know what solving that code could read to. 